In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, nothing different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. WP51 return. Oh, crime any stupid clones. I really miss my Mac. Hey, Crow, what's this mean? Too many parameters, hyphen WP51. What? Oh, uh, come on. Oh. Uh, you used a forward slash instead of a backslash. A what? Oh, oh, okay. CD backslash WP51 return. 30 seconds to commercial sign. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Satellite of Love. Tom Servo and Crow are in the middle of another user interface war. Let's watch. Oh, this is rich. Bad command or file name. Why well, they expect you to be a machine to operate this machine? Oh, and I suppose you'd prefer a little animated clown who would juggle over to the little file cabinet and then wink at you and point to the right drawer. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At least I don't have to have a photographic memory to get my Mac to work. Both user interfaces work perfectly well. It's really just a matter of the individual's personal preference. We think the joke will be on Tom Servo and Crow. Now here, the problem with IBM's incompatibles is that they lack the elegance and intuitive nature of the Mac. Mac products are reliable, proven, and they always work. Oh yeah? What about System 7? It's coming! It's coming, okay? There were a few bugs in it, okay? Boy, you can have a lot of fun with people hopelessly mired in computer nuance. Watch this. Hey, has anybody seen the mouse for my Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? Oh, come on. There's a machine for you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, has anyone seen my <laughs> fast <laughs> Angus drive? <laughs> <laughs> They called him absurd. They called him deranged. They told him his face would freeze that way forever. But he never listened. All next week, Comedy Central salutes the first guy to break through every wall and floor of TV comedy. It's a five-day tribute that says, Ernie, we like your style. Ernie, we dig your portable tub. Ernie, you are the mad king of TV comedy. Get to know your Mad King a little better during Ernie Kovacs week, June 24th through June 28th. Two shows daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. here at Comedy Central. Introducing the most advanced Tegrin ever. Advanced formula Tegrin dandruff shampoo. Now with 40% more itch fighting, flake fighting medication than ever before. Try the most advanced Tegrin ever. Aren't you just itching to try it? A little cheddar makes a plain potato, mmm, scrumptious, but without the cheddar cheese. Uh, no thanks. So add a little cheddar cheese. Ooh, thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. Watch British and American comics get along as if that whole tea party thing never happened on London Underground, Friday at 8 here at Comedy Central. Oh, no, this is really, really neat. Unrecoverable application error. This is really cute, Crow. I suppose we'll have to re-enter the entire spreadsheet now, hmm? That's no, uh -huh. no, no, no. Just rewrite the autoexec bad file and stick in a memory manager. Th don't that's all. Just take a minute. Don't Just worry. <sighs> yeah, while uh, Tom Servo's rebooting the computer, uh, I thought it'd be a good time to show this week's invention exchange. And uh, what I've got here, let me turn it on a second, is a uh, new tool to help 
expand people's consciousness. You know, Joel, there's some things that people shouldn't be conscious about. Like what? Well, like the fact that their tongues are just sitting in the bottom of their mouths all day, all night, even when they sleep. Yeah. Uh, uh, ch chatter, but would you let me finish? Uh, I'm oh, talking sorry. about expanding people's consciousness about the recycling cause. That's why I built this audio animatronic pop can. Enough yeah, magic see? for many evenings. Oh. Yeah, so. Uh, what I thought we could do is use it as a spokesperson for, like, recycling commercials when we get back to Earth. Here's yeah. a baffler worth twice the price. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Crow, let's do yeah. that thing where I make him work and I'll manipulate the can. You do the voice, okay? okay? Right, okay. Young Let's magicians see. love this one. <laughs> yeah. Hello, folks. Remember, I recycle. Good night. No skill required. Oh, this is rich. Stands rigid inspection, a quality product. That one stung small and easy. <laughs> what do you think, sirs? I think you've got a kooky screw loose, is what I think. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Oh, quit your clowning, itchy mango, and go and get your harness on. All of it. Disco's back, frog bait, and so am I. And so is this new Disco Cumber Bubble Bun. Enter Frank. That's it, baby. Work that body. Make it burn. There you go. There's a good one. Oh, another good one, Frank. Yes. Come on, you can make a bubble. You just put your knees together and squeeze. Yes. I have seen the future of hip hop, Joel, and it is Frank. As for your experiment this week, it's another in a long line of Gamera giant flying turtle movies. This one's featuring Baragon, who's sort of a giant lizard dog with itchy scalp. Take this film and shove it, Joel. But you see, you could press it back down again, Crow, because he's a rock'em, sock'em robot. Oh, oh, movie's on! Movie's on! You know, that Cumber Bubble Bun looks kind of familiar for some reason. Water, the source of all Sandy Frank films. Oh. <laughs> Oh, D A I O. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, looks like a kid wrote this with a crayon. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I wouldn't for one negate Nagata. You got it, though. Oh, planning. I hate when he plans. There's never enough buns. Music supplied by our own Osaka High School Flying Pipers Drum Corps. Hey, I think I see my laundry. <laughs> A little background first. Six months ago, an airplane carrying an atom bomb crashed while flying over the Arctic Ocean. Seen the it. Hated it. Taped it. Carrying the huge ice flows and releasing from the depths Gamma. Bill Gamma. who had been imprisoned in the ice for thousands of years. Hello. Yeah. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last! Captivity was to attack Japan. Ooh. All man-made weapons proved powerless against him. All scale models were powerless against him. <laughs> oh, there was only one last resort, the Z plan. Gamera was jettisoned to Mars in a rocket. Again, there was failure. And deep the personal shame. The and split open, liberating Gamera from the capsule. And maybe, just maybe, in a small way, liberating all monsters everywhere. <laughs> Gamera returned to Japan and attacked the Kurobe Dam. The largest of its kind in the entire Orient. So you know it's good. Camera must have a source of fuel. And so from the power plant, he extracted electricity to store in his own body. Weird, huh? Hmm. Hey. Hi. Oh. Hey. Hmm? What's that? What's what? Hey, it's Camera! Camera! Oh, oh, you know, I thought he looked familiar. Hey. Oh, oh damn. Hey, okay. stop talking. One at a time. Quit talking all at the same time. Oh. Looks like a big chicken pot pie, kind of. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. I just can't get close to anyone anymore. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you man, turn off the main switch. Turn off the power. 
Huh, funny. In color, I expected Gamera to be more of a strawberry blonde. Mm. He's kind of a funny... Um, oh, well. Camera puts on 50,000 pounds. Oh, like lunch that. for me. Oh, thank you. Why does he sound like someone playing the trumpet badly? Oh, I mean like Chuck Man Jones? Uh, <laughs> Tokyo, I think it's time to start thinking about solar power. Ah, uh, he can't resist. He's a slave to his own passion. Gamera craves the creamy taste of flames. Mm. Oh, now is that necessary, young man? I mean... Charbroiled City. Charbroiled City. Charbroiled City. Char Man, he's got a short reach, you know? No, bait the city at 7,500 degrees. Quick, get the KC Masterpiece sauce. I think he means it this time. Move it. Hey, hurry up. Put the power in all the Oh, I'm full. Oh, you know what you want to do is you, you want to huh? pull off them pedals and dip it in that oh, sauce good. there. Oh, that's mm. really super neat. Oh, yeah, try the lemon. Yeah. You know, that reminds mm. me I should shingle my roof when I get back to Earth. That would, huh? Yeah. Uh, Whoa, it looks like Wembley Stadium after a uh, soccer match. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. Mm. So. Oops, that was me. My fault. Ah, sorry. I can't see my head's inside, you know. <laughs> Higher, Gamera. Higher. About 50 feet up. Okay, back up and push. Uh-oh. A spectacular cascade of Alka-Seltzer. I can't believe Gamera ate the whole thing. He ate it, Ralph. <laughs> Look, water, the source of all... We know, we know. Gamera loves flame. But they go straight to his hip. He left Japan as suddenly as he had arrived Sorry. and headed for Mount Uzal in the equator, hmm. flying directly toward the flowing molten lava. He had a contract with Whammo. Hmm. When in Cleveland, visit the Golden Dragon Inn, only 15 minutes from our cinema. And now back to our film, Sky King, the motion picture. Tell me, are you really going to resign? Yeah. This is my last day up here. I will serve my master down there. But you've just earned your wings after so much dedicated work. Clarence, what made you decide to quit? Tired of flying already? Certainly not. My dream is to continue flying. And have my voice down. Or else life would be worthless. Hmm. But that's why I'm quitting now. I want to learn more. You should, too. So that later, I will be more skilled. Fair enough. Hmm. hmm. Hey, did you George Harrison write this song? Yeah, My Sweet Warlord. Oh, that's cute. 33 and a third, I think. I never knew a cheese cutter could sound this good. Oh, uh, it's the Joy Luck Club blues band. <laughs> Come on, play it like you feel it, Mr. Eddie's father. And now, it's Pink Lady Unplugged. Uh, this ought to shut them up. Come on. Oh, they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, gang, maybe you shouldn't be smoking around mm. all those things, hmm? Hmm. Now, uh, this one kind of looks like an avocado. Hey, can the pineapple. It's somebody. I'll get it. Ah, damn Charlie horse. It's sitting on my leg. Hmm? Superfly? Oh, it's you. Got him. Come in. Tea? Biscuits? My brother. Hi, I'm dangerous to myself and yeah. others. Here's all my money. How much? <laughs> it's my pension. Ooh, Not a big bucks. help. Yeah, it's no use working for others. I've got to get my own aircraft company. Now. However small. That'll take money. And you don't have any. He just took it. Nah, nah. Well, now that we're all here, I'll tell you the plan. During the war, I found a huge opal. Hmm. Big. But believe me, it was about the size of an ostrich egg. Oh, it I gets bigger it every time he tells a story. Just before I was taken away to a prisoner of war camp, I managed Did to hide the opal again in the cave where I'd found it. That was 20 years ago. Don't It'll be gone. The, war. the cave lies deep in a dense jungle where even the natives never go. 
I think that it'll be safe. We'll be taking a big gamble. <laughs> me like a gamble. <laughs> we'll be able to sell it for an absolute fortune. Hmm. Are you sure it's a real opal? It's real. Yep. It must be. And there might be more as well. Since I can't get away, case of K, you go. It for me. Case of Dia. Gladly. The good thing about my cooking is it doubles for earrings. Introducing the most advanced Tegrin ever. Advanced formula Tegrin dandruff shampoo. Now with 40% more itch fighting, flake fighting medication than ever before. Try the most advanced Tegrin ever. Aren't you just itching to try it? A little cheddar makes a plain potato. Mmm, scrumptious. But without the cheddar cheese. Uh, nothing. So add a little cheddar cheese. Ooh, thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. I watched what I ate, worked out on my easy glider, and lost 75 pounds. And this is actual footage of Keith's home video showing his dramatic weight loss. All across America, people have found that 20 minutes every other day works to firm all major muscle groups and helps to lose weight aerobically. I'm using my arms, my shoulder, my back, my tummy, my thighs, my legs. I get it all. Dual resistance allows you to adjust tension for both legs and upper body. I have tried bikes, jogging, even racquetball, and Easy Glider is definitely the best. And this handsome unit folds down quickly for easy storage. Call toll free like I did to shape up and slim down with Easy Glider. Call toll free 1 800 726 6000. We'll bill your credit card three easy payments of $19.95 each. You get a full 60 day home trial with a money back guarantee. The total price, $59.85 plus $9 shipping and handling. So call now, 1-800-726-6000. You'll all go on a cargo boat. With crutch cargo. Of course. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. False name, and you'll carry forged papers. Hmm. You got them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. Cost me a small fortune. Yeah. Hmm. For the forgery. This is for you? This one for you. And the password is... You two will board the ship as ordinary seamen. For God's sake, don't bungle. In the jungle. We're on you. Thanks. Okay? Okay. The Awaji Maru will reach New Guinea in 25 days. Mm -hmm. Unload here, and then continue around this area. And then it returns back to the original harbor mm -hmm. just about a fortnight later. You three have got that two-week period in which to locate the Opal. You mean we're to quit the ship without leave and then reboard it again? That's dishonest. Mm -hmm. I always say... We want to pick up the bones of our buddies who died inland during the war. Uh oh, that's <laughs> rich. <laughs> <laughs> then when you get to the airport here, you'll have to charter a helicopter. Case of K, you'll be able to fly it for them. That's why you're here. And next, money. Remember to take plenty of black market dollars with you. Make sure they have Art Linkletter's picture on them. Be careful of the scorpion. And a white You've snake. You've had it if they <laughs> The jungle is full of many other dangers as well. So take these just to be safe. And don't run by the pool. And bring a washcloth and a Ziploc bag to clean up after baby. Yeah, and don't go into the water until an hour after you've eaten. Yeah. Are those uh, chick jeans? Mm. Mm -hmm. Just who do they think we are anyway? Ah, oh, stop Double. grumbling. Patient. Go. <sighs> hey, you! Mm -hmm. My room's filthy. Now clean it. Do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, chance, TV's but, uh... Mr. T. Oh. Mm -hmm. I pity those fools. <laughs> working hard? No, hardly yeah. working. <laughs> it's a... You find us some easier work to do. Just stick with it. Now help us out. Come on, huh? It's we have fun. to clean the washroom, too. <laughs> it's no joke. Oh, sorry, I forgot mm -hmm. I laughed. Hmm? Hey, my cabin tonight. Only three more days. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. I've got a calendar. I know. Don't give it up now. So well, nearing the Santana concert, we put on our love bees and put down the landing gear of our VW microbus. And we're just in time to see Don Ho. And his sister, Heidi. <laughs> All the Earth Mothers are expressing their political stances. We had a stance, too. Wish I had a lot more. Hey! The male of the tribe is saying, how about dinner and a movie? 
Email responds with, okay, but I've seen Mannequin already. The male says he just wants to go to sleep, but the female wants to talk. Can't see. Hey. Whoa. Beat it. What, did somebody drop a Coke bottle all of a sudden? Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie is The Jungle Goddess. Starring George Reeves, the guy who looks like Granny Colfax, and lots of French fried potatoes. <laughs> Hi, we're from America. We've come to decimate your jungle, convert your youth, and make you feel inferior. Look, it's Robert Duvall. Hello? Anybody here? You know, I swear there were a lot of dancers here a minute ago. Does it make figure? Go figure. Hi, how was your flight? Uh, hey, quit <laughs> clowning. It's probably quite part of the cave. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, they seem rude. Hey, get me. I'm a stranger in paradise what big time. Huh? Huh? Look, there's writing. It says Yankees of go home. there is. It's a guidepost. Not much use if we can't read it. How many words the picture? Uh-huh. Hey, give me the map, will you? I think that there might be a shortcut through the jungle somewhere. Uh, huh? Who goosed me? Pat Marita, danger wearer. Quite safe. Yes, it's a move. Yes, please. They helped us a lot during the war. They're good people. Yeah. So better let me keep it. Give it here, huh? Uh oh. I'll uh, shoot myself to prove her friendly. Hey. That's one of them to be our guide. How can I? None of them understand us. You're wrong. I understand perfectly. Hey, is anybody called Dibs? Dibs? Oh, Dibs. Darn, darn. Are you smitten by my eyes by now? Oh, it's my dad. I got to go now. Oh, it's Tom Wolf. Oh, thank God. The contemporary novel is saved. Two gentlemen come directly from Japan? Yes. Who are you? A doctor. I've been living and working with the people of these islands for over ten years. He has tenure, then. <laughs> Our friend, the doctor, came with his wife to study certain diseases. Then his wife died of the very disease he was curing. Convenient. He decided hmm. to stay here the rest of his life. We're impressed. It is quiet here. I feel now that I belong to this peaceful village. I never even think of my own home any longer. Not even a little? And I've been extremely fortunate. Well, Karen is my assistant, and uh, an excellent We get too. the picture. <laughs> ah. Oh. By the way, what has brought you to such a backward spot? The wind, ma'am, the wild wind. Well, sir, we've come to investigate a certain cave. Hmm. It isn't far from here. Hmm. <laughs> no go, Navajo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Doctor, you know where the cave is? Oh, you must not go near that cave. Believe me. And why not? It's called Rainbow Valley. The Care Bears live there. What is that? On that stone, there's a warning to all. It says warning. It forbids us to go there, and he who disobeys it will not return. Hmm. But why? Nobody knows. The trouble that I've stone, seen. It stood there thousands of years, so they say. Only a fool would disobey. Hmm. Our ancestors handed down a warning that an evil spirit dwells there, hmm. and it is dangerous even to approach the Valley of the Rainbow. Go on. Then no one here will act as our guide. Certainly not. Nope. All the people are begging you not to go. You must respect their wishes on this point. Even his royal neck brace says so. All right, huddle up, everybody. Hey. Bring it in. Come on. Bring it in. Darn tourists. Ha! They don't want anyone to go near that cave. What more proof could there be that there's hidden treasure there? Hmm. Of course. And they've even created a legend to protect it. Hmm. The evil spirit is really the Scorpio my brother mentioned then. Hmm. We'll never get a guide from them. I'll have to call Kelly girls. Let's go alone. This way. But what if the treasure really does belong to these natives? So we're going to take it anyway. Okay. Hey, let's go. Come on. Good idea. Let's go. No, no. You mustn't go in there. No way. Don't go. Don't go in there. Hey, watch out. All right, all right. 
I didn't think this gun would come in handy so soon. Right. Now, let's go. Just let that little steam. Gotta go. What we gotta go to do. Nice meeting you, folks. Whoa. Thanks for everything. And we'll be right back right after this. Kids, here's the greatest to meet us, the latest thing. 5,000-piece fight men and monster sets. Some pieces not included. Astonish and baffle your friends and foes while you pulverize Japan. Here's what you get. 500 Japanese light infantry body parts may not be missing. 36 helpless officials, 20 tanks, 15 recoilless rifles not in the set. 24 bazooka gum runners, 18 ambulance chasers, 12 jet fighters, 6 not included. 16 helicopter parts, 200 shooting crouchers, 19 fighting clowns, 8 deserters, 6 Kisalayan, 24 Mohawk Indians, and much, 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 much more. Act now and receive at half the extra value of the mystifying monster action pack. Flame on with Gamera, torso sold separately. He spits real fire and causes real pain. Solid rubber bear gun comes complete with optional ram tongue action. Not responsible for nerve damage. And amuse your friends with Topo, Meep Song, and Bart the Batlin, Belgian and Dive. Some parts may not exist. Act now, act often, and snap on the entire Tokyo metropolitan area, complete with buildings, bridges, and the breakaway Monty, Nuko Dam, smaller than shown. Trample the ad on hapless citizen playset, then abhor the action with the fabulous anti-war protest pack. Senator Wollstone not included. But that's not all. Relive your favorite Japanese movie carnage with the lights, Gamera, action series. There's the gimp, the goon, the shame-filled brother, the hapless Keisha, and the pull apart voodoo Kenny. Pose in the nude with the thrifty kitten review, then watch the action from high atop Tokyo Tower as the twisted world you create explodes in rivers of blood and endless pain. Order today. Offer limited. Not available in Utah. Puerto Rico prices subject to win. Please wear rubber underwear and some parts baby made of chicken. Neck now. By bonds. A dog. Mommy. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> breathe, boy. Breathe. <laughs> that was a good one. Let's not mommy. do that again. Mommy. Here's something we think you really like. <laughs> That's okay. Say your prayer. <laughs> Lieutenant Frank Drebin. Nice work, Frank. What? The only cop smart enough. The water's over there, Frank. Brave enough. And man enough. Give me the strongest thing you got. To star in the only movie big enough. How you doing, Trooper? To be called The Naked Gun 2 and a half. The Smell of Fear. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, June 28th at theaters everywhere. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. From the day I was born, I collected so much stuff. <sighs> so we stored our stuff in stuff from Rubbermaid. Then we were so unstuffed. Hey! We need more stuff! Don't you wish everything was made like Rubbermaid? We all know how much fun playing the guitar can be, but until now, learning meant months of tedious lessons costing hundreds of dollars and getting limited results. Well, no more. Now you can learn to play any guitar in only 30 days. In fact, you'll actually be playing from the very first day, even if you've never held a guitar before. How's it possible? With the revolutionary Guitar Today video program. Rock, country, folk, pop, or jazz, you'll be playing guitar from the very first day. When I first heard about the Guitar Today video, I was skeptical. But I tried it, and now I'm playing electric guitar in my own band. I ordered the tape for my son, and he played his first song in only one day. Then my daughter used the program, and she did just as well. Now my husband is showing off with how well he plays. Use your credit card and order your two-hour videotape and instructional workbook for only $29.95 plus $3.95 shipping. Call now, 1-800-726-6000. That's 1-800-726-6000. Or send your check to the address shown. Sorry, no CODs. Ernie Kovacs. They called him absurd. They called him deranged. They told him his face would freeze that way forever. But he never listened. All next week, Comedy Central salutes the first guy to break through every wall and floor of TV comedy. It's a five-day tribute that says, Ernie, we like your style. Ernie, we dig your portable tub. Ernie, you are the mad king of TV comedy. Get to know your mad king a little better during Ernie Kovacs week, June 24th through June 28th. Two shows daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. here at Comedy Central. Hey, I found my hamster. 
Uh, what are we looking for again? What does it look like? Hmm? Oh? A bowling ball? Hey! Ah. It's here! It's here! Earl Anthony's signature. <laughs> I'm crying. Our gamble paid off. Me. We got the opal. It's ours. Those men. No wonder they tried to stop us. Well, that was fast. And now we're multi-millionaires. Just wait till I get home. I'll buy a great big mansion. And keep all the cover stuff. Full of all the dumb luck. I'll buy myself uh -oh. a Oh, you got a little, uh... Oh, like a um, dream. Think of my life. Scorpion. Kill birds with happiness. I say. I'll do just what I please from now on. Just think. No more broccoli. You'll own an aircraft company. <laughs> oh, please, I could go mad. On a dear, you say something, eh? Uh, any last words? Hey, on a dear. Aren't you happy that we found it? Hmm. Uh, friendship is worth much more than the opal for me. <laughs> I just want you kids to be good. Here out this share a good friend. Imagine sharing all this with us. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Think how happy he'll be that we found it. Oh, yeah. I wish I could tell him. <sighs> hey! Here I go! Boy, is he high. <clears throat> Excuse me, Daph, where is thy sting for waiting? <laughs> My central performance. Any minute now, I think we are. Uh, you know. Bob, time to break out the back team. Oh. Well, at least he's dying a millionaire. <laughs> Push down on the moon. Hugo! For oh, one brief stunning moment, there was a cavalance. Hugo! Ooh. Put a tourniquet on his neck. It's dark! Ooh. Ooh, it's kiss down. it, make it better. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hide you. Bear down. Push. Hugo! Uh, it's a boy. Congratulations. Come on, Jerry! Come on, Jerry! Hurry! Hurry! Come on, Jerry! You've never given up on anything before! Don't quit now, man! Come on, Jerry! Come on, Jerry! Tom and Jerry, what? This has been his favorite cartoon. Oh, we have so much more to do! <laughs> he died as he lived. Goofy. Mm -hmm. Hey, I heard too, man. I'm lucky. Hey, I'm dealing with it. Why can't you? Oh, I have your watching. So, lunch? Don't cry. It's no use. Let's go. My man. Yeah, we still got a thousand wonderful hours. Hey, let's put him in a real scary pose. <laughs> well, there's one good thing at least. We got the opal. Yeah. We might as well get going. Come on, you can't bring him back to life. Man, wuss. Oh. For safety, I'll keep the opal. Hmm? Yeah, I'm better now. I'm all right. Huh? Hmm? Hey, now. Don't you trust me with it? Well, I, uh, trust? Hmm. You can keep the opal. I'll take the gun. Sorry, there's a seven-day waiting period on that call. Oh. Okay. Neat deal. One, two, three, grab. Wait. It's a football phone. There might be other jewels hidden in the cave. Hmm. I'll bet ours isn't the only one. Let's look now that we're in here. Hey, Steve, dead buddy. You think that was smart of me to get the gun for the opal? I did it for you. Ooh. Now to desecrate the body. Hey, that's my family. I wonder what his sign was. Scorpio? No. <laughs> Cause, cause <laughs> with the D and the bug and the... Bing. Tickle, tickle. No organ donor card. <laughs> you know, it's a Brunswick. I'm going to bowl a 300 with this baby. <laughs> oh, 
Uh -oh. oh, hey, that's not being supportive of your friend's feelings. At least he's lighting a few candles for the guy. That's good. That's good. Oh. I don't think those are candles. Oh. Sparklers. Ah, oh, the Roadrunner's never going to fall for this. I did the... Uh, huh? Surprise! Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot, I should have been out of the cave first. What was I thinking? Note to myself, get out of cave before blowing it up. Me and my booty. Speaking of... <coughs> Easy on the vermouth, please. And shaken, not stirred, please. Oh, my salad! I'm kidding. Come here! Now! Guess not. Saigon. Can't believe I'm still in Saigon. Oh, he's missing the luau. Oh, he can wait. <laughs> What am I doing in this place? We found you in time. Hmm. You would have been dead. Minutes later. But don't think that we saved your kindness. We simply like our meat fresh. Very clear. That friend of yours found something in the cave. Maybe. He's gone. There's no need to cover for him. He betrayed you, didn't he? In a way. He wanted all of what we found. An opo. An opo? Opo? Yes, huge. It was as big as that. Oh, you're thinking of an ocarina. My brother hid the opal inside that cave 20 years ago. Hmm. It was to be shared between us all. Dad, Dad, he said opal to me. I think we're going to be married. Oh, you got any toaster? Oh, hmm? oh man. I gotta get a coat hanger down this thing. It's itching oh, like a bear. You killed me. <laughs> now what? Catch your popcorn, peanuts, jewel thieves, frosty mugs. Bob Hope's out there. I think our friend's about to become a casserole. I'd better get a plan quick. something. I gotta get this t-shirt back to Henry Chinaski. I told him not to go in the cave, and now look what happens. Oh, it's all right. Gauguin's here. Tell him, Dad. <clears throat> what are they doing? It's a long drum solo. It's not your place to ask. They are praying to ward off the curse of the gods. Curse of the gods? Do not scorn what even science cannot explain. Mm -hmm. Something terrible will happen. Didn't if we something don't terrible back, just happen? Thousands and thousands of lives depend on its return. Mm -hmm. okay. I see. The opal's worth that much, huh? Yeah. What you found has no money for you. Oh, take the marbles out of your mouth, old man. So, who's lying? Yours? Mine? Are we done? Is that a wrap? Oh, we're still rolling. <clears throat> Doctor, let me get it back from Japan. No, you can't. You're a girl. I will go. Oh, no. You have your patient here who needs you desperately. I will go to Japan. You can't. You've never even been there. It wouldn't be sane for you to go oh, alone. Well, I have no choice. I must try to save these people. My child. Ask him to go with me. Listen, the thing you found wasn't a gem. Do you still think that it was an opal? Oh, well, yeah, who does? We're afraid misfortune will follow. That's why we are praying. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? Ha! Something terrible will happen now. The legend warns that the gods will be angry. Hmm. You've disobeyed the order. None of us has ever dared to visit the valley. Ho, ho, ho. 
perfect. You've touched something evil and forbidden. Oh, I suppose you're what it perfect. Can be, I don't know, but it's certainly not a gem. What goes on night after night with Alan Havy? Like where people have seen us in France. Like I give a damn. It has been, you know, actually it's been upsetting my stomach a little. Boy, I don't even <laughs> want to get into that. There. A big stinky country. It's very natural for me to be sexy. Can't help it. She'd nag and bully me until I was a helpless lump of jelly. It is. People stink and the women don't shave. I don't like it. Night after night with Alan Havy. Weeknights at 11 here at Comedy Central. Can we go back and attack France? This summer, Naked Gun Two and a Half. This Saturday, Comedy Central brings you three hours of Police Squad, where it all started. You owe me a hundred dollars, now cough it up. Every single episode of Police Squad, back to back in a three-hour marathon of police force. We're sorry to bother you at a time like this twice. We would have come earlier if your husband wasn't dead then. Watch Comedy Central this Saturday for the Police Squadathon, 9 p.m. 8 Central in color, hard as nails. Frank and I do everything together. That's good. Why, when I was pregnant with Cody, we even gained weight together. That wasn't good. Then I went on the Ultra Slim Fast plan, and in four weeks, I lost 10 pounds. And Frank lost 15 pounds in six weeks. That was great. We each had a shake for breakfast, another for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. You know, honey, going on the Ultra Slim Fast plan together really is a great idea. Yeah, I'm uh, glad I thought of it. Uh, Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. If you're feeling a little unpopular because of a wart, try America's number one wart remedy, Compound W. It hates warts more than you do. Hey, it's the start of Bonanza. Hot. Let it go. Thank God they used Downey. Mm -hmm. The Time Tunnel, in color. I think it's mackerel with cheese sauce and a dollop of cream. Mm. Ah. Or maybe not. It's out of focus, whatever it is. A piece of liver. Mm. This movie is fascinating. Not. No, I think it's a ballpark prank. See, it's plumping as he cooks it. Mm. Well, I think we've pretty much determined that it is not an opal. Ooh. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. <laughs> Caution, filling is hot and alive. And so the egg, young and blue, searches for its mother. Hey, little milky guy. Hey, Sonny Rollins is practicing on the bridge again. Hey, Doctor, play one more game, huh? Hmm? Well, I hope that I'll be able to win it. Okay, oh, somebody get that guy up. It's getting late. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show it tomorrow. Uh, aren't we? Oh, no, they're out. The sick bay door won't open. Hey, look I at the clown. Look at oh. oh. this flower there. No. I want to give it to your dead friend. Not now. Some other time. Hey, it's the DJ from you Delight. See, my father hmm. died on that island. So your friend doesn't seem like a stranger to me. Open it. Oh. An order. Please give him a key. Very good. Boardwalk, park, please. Oh, no! Hey, who took the tires off the dock? Next week on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. What's going on here? Engine room! Give me the engine room! Engine room! Captain, Captain. Oh. Hmm. Uh, goodbye, ma'am. Bye. Hey, Jake and Elwood. Hey. Cap Calloway. There's a ship. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. you sure they've got the Yoko? Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Let me see it. You're asking a very high price. Yes. yes. Ooh, 7 a.m. the main hatchway caved in. The wreck of the elephant, Gerald. Hmm. Adam Clayton Powell. Oh, it blew up. Hey, it's funny, girl. There's Barbara Streisand. Hmm. 
Macau. Taxi. Oh, taxi. Yeah. Taxi. Cab up town. Jeep. Welcome to Ellis Island. Your name is now Bob Smith. Angelini? No, you're now Corleone. Well, I think I'll name you Appetite. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed your Norwegian Princess Cruise. Take the envelope over there. Take that blanket. Oops, I wet him. Hey, did you ever see the movie Papillon? Oh, no, no, no. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, no, I saved this. Hey, they're giving away free clothes over there. I was lucky. Something important. Something important, too. What do you got there? Your friend's bones. You can keep them, you fool. Huh? They're pig's bones. Wah, wah, wah. Pig's bones? Hmm? Ah, excuse me. Have you come from that ship? I have. Do you know where Casey K is? Who'd you say? Casey K. Uh, he was a seaman on the same ship. Uh, let me see. Mm, let's see. I'm a psychic. You're the great Karnak. Mm -hmm. Thank heavens you're all right. Yes. But where's my brother? Casey K. Casey K. Bad news. What's happened to him then? Bad news. Sorry. All right. He's dead. Huh? He's dead? Hmm. He slipped and fell. Onto some live grenade. Jelly inside the cave. Kawajiri too. Kawajiri, Kawabunga. I searched for them both. Ooh. Through the whole cave. For about ten seconds. But I couldn't find their bodies. Which was terrible. Did you find the gem? Did you? I want to look at it. Of course. I've got it. Uh, is it true? Is it? Let me see it then. Rope will sank when the ship did. No. I was keeping it safe by hiding it in my cabin. Hmm. I don't believe you. Well, I'm telling you the truth. All right, it wasn't my cabin. The sea is very deep right here. A diver can retrieve it. Me. No, 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 uh, 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 uh. There's no need to give up. No, 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 no. You're a fool to think we'll ever get it back. You call me when you found it. Till then, I'll keep my money. Goodbye. Well, it's down to me and you, and me and well, part of your eye. Believe me? Left. Hey, what's that? It's your finger, and it's pointing. So. Oh, it's the ghost of Esther Williams. Oh, oh, it's, no, 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 it's Mr. Bubble, and boy, is he cheesed. Mm -hmm. It's a Mr. Bubble pool party. Oh. Well, please, there's a man in the bathtub. Stop, Grandma, it's me. What will we do? We need more Calgon. There are two Japanese on the beach, and a lot with their lights. Huh? Oh. Huh. Look at that! Hi there. I'm a juicy new character. Enjoy me. I'm what's known as the complication. The antagonist, if you will. Well, for my first number, I'd like to crush a warehouse. It's an old favorite. I think you're going to like it. It goes something like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I did that on the Sullivan Show. But uh, they only film me from the waist up. They say I flipped them off. But it's just the way my fingers are constructed. <laughs> Hey, if Gamma craves fire, what does Baragon crave? Uh, ben and Jerry's, Cherry Garcia. <laughs> oh. Nash. Hey, I'm doing my own stunts. If wholesome family entertainment is old-fashioned, then call me old-fashioned. <laughs> hey, look at the clown jeep. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come, Tiny Tim. Don't let us hit you one. Well, roughly translated, it means beat cheeks. Hey, drag that nurse along. She might come in handy. Oh, he's leaking. But wait, there's more. This serrated edge will slice tomatoes so thin you can see right through them. About this time, most folks are wondering, am I a dog? I don't even know. Rough, rough. Just kidding. <laughs> hmm? Good call. 
Oh, no. He thinks it's a giant fire hydrant. Don't lift your leg, boy. I think, uh... Why don't you treat yourself? You're a growing monster. Go ahead. Oh, he got that from Gene Simmons. I'm your boyfriend now. Blah. Time to go? Time to go. Oh, come on. You want to watch the puppy? A dose of Jack Carter on Changing Times. Give me a dozen condoms and a pack of cigarettes. Jack Carter playing the big room, Sunday at 8.30, here at Comedy Central. You know it makes me wanna... Shout Stick lets you pre-treat tough stains today. Throw my hands back and... Shout them out next wash day. Kick my feet out and... Shout Stick starts working right away. It saturates tough stains, penetrates clean through to keep stains from setting in till you're ready to wash them out. You know it makes me want to shout. Come on now. Shout. Want a tough stain out? Shout. Shout it out. Shout. One barbecue sauce can liven up any holiday cookout. New KC Masterpiece Bowl. Here's a free taste. If you'd like seconds, pick up some KC Masterpiece Bowl. This sauce lives up to its name. Introducing the most advanced Tegrin ever. Advanced formula Tegrin dandruff shampoo. Now with 40% more itch fighting, flake fighting medication than ever before. Try the most advanced Tegrin ever. Aren't you just itching to try it? It's back. It's more frightening than before. Stephen King's epic, The Stand. Experience the terror of 350 pages you weren't allowed to see before. This $24.95 hardcover is yours for just $7.95 when you enter the chilling world of the Stephen King Library. Imagine an exclusive collection of horror, Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Christine, The Chart Toppers, the books that became blockbuster movies. All in original hardcovers at just $14.95 each, all with a cancel anytime guarantee. But if you want the terror to last, we'll send you a new volume, including King's new releases about every seven weeks. Enjoy each for 10 days. There's never an obligation to buy. Possess the stand with no risk. The Stephen King Library, where the master is coming back to haunt you. Call 1-800-421-8600 now to get the stand. Keep it and pay just $7.95 plus shipping and handling. Future volumes will come, one every seven weeks, each with a 10-day free trial. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. Just a beer and a bump sometimes. Oh, but I never really drink anything. You know oh, that. No, uh, I'll have the occasional light beer and Merle likes his scotch, you know. Oh, but anyway, uh, you never believe what Margaret told me about the Stewart boy. Well, oh, I am dying. Just tell me. Apparently, okay, what you Hey, how me? was everything, ladies? Oh, oh yeah. you really did a number on this Mexiquita fajita super bel grande treat, didn't you? Let oh, it was good and so filling. Oh, yes, everything's just wonderful. I'm really full. Me okay, too. good. Well, I'm going to be heading back to get the dessert tray. Oh, and uh, do you want anything? Coffee, tea, shot of tequila, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Seven, no, we're fine right Okay, now. I'll be right back, Steve. Oh, she is super neat and so creative. Oh, honey, they all are. This is my favorite place to come. Oh, not every day, but, you know, oh. a special treat sometimes. Oh, you heaven. see all the antiques on the wall oh, here? I love them. Oh, they do it up so colorful. Mm -hmm. You got to get down here on Halloween I've sometime. Heard, I've heard. They all dress up in costumes, and it's super colorful oh, and neat. so much fun. Neat. Really? Here we are, girl. Oh, my. Here it oh, is. We're in okay. trouble now, honey. Now, <laughs> over here... We've got TGI Tokyo's biggest seller. Here it is, the Chocolate Towering Inferno, and oh. it is decadent. Mm. But uh, you probably don't like chocolate, do you? Oh, oh I, I love, love it. Chocolate. Yes. I'm kidding, of course. Everyone <laughs> loves chocolate. Uh, this one here you probably wouldn't be interested in. Oh. I'm just kidding. It's a little rich, you know. But this is our Apple Double Mur Murder Suicide Tort. It's kind of yeah. spicy and has a little rum in it, so I'm going to have to see your IDs, girl. Oh, oh you are so I sweet. That's okay. So sweet. Anyway, oh. this last one over here is a, too dense for me to even pick up. Oh. This is our vanilla cross-country killing spree with fudge sauce. One bite of this Ooh. and you uh, lock tongues with Loki, evil god of strife and discord on the seventh platform of hell. I'm just kidding. It's a little rich. Can I oh. get you one? <laughs> Should, honey, that's the one I'm going to have. Oh, uh, nothing for me. Please. Oh, and a okay. Diet Pepsi. Please, All right. That's good. Uh, one of those 
Coca-Cola's and a Diet Pepsi. I'll get you a fork just in case you want to try it. Okay? He knows me he so sure well. Does. Oh, oh yeah. he's such a cute boy. Oh, so uh, waiter. A waiter. Yeah. Wait, uh, could we have separate checks, please? Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. We don't do that here at TGI. Yeah, uh, what a jerk. Oh, no kidding. Uh, ladies, uh, yes? we have a movie song. Oh! That was just delightful. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, you got any Tums in the car? I've got a little bit. I guess we'll have to put bonus up. Huh? Until this monster's dead. We can't put it off forever. It'll be too late. The June wedding is when so cliche. When things quiet down, the police and the insurance company are bound to mess around with that ship. Oh, that's good booze. Then we'll never get the Opal back. So we'll have to act now. Hmm. The only right chance now. we've got to find it. First, we'll need money. Yeah. Oh, I've got quite a bit of money put aside. That's good. Is it in cash? I have a dowry. We can live with my phone. we can hire the diver. Teresa! Teresa! Huh? The monster is getting nearer to attack us. What? Huh? The radio says so. It'll kill all of us. Just leave here. Let's get out. Fine, honey. What time's dinner? Are we having rice again? No. We can't pull it up because we've got to leave Osaka. If we go now, we'll lose it. After all the risks I've taken. I'm leaving. Let's go to Kobe. It'll be safe there. Yeah. No. I'm not going until we brought that opal up here. This confusion is just what we need. Nobody will notice. Not now. Who? We've got to. Who? No, we'll have to give it up for a little while. I can't give it up. Not after I've killed two men. Huh? Oh. Anora! We can't wait longer. Anora! What was that you said? Tell me. You said that you killed two men. Uh, oh, that figure of speech metaphor. <laughs> Teasing. <laughs> you killed them both? No, no, not at the same time. I only meant they've given their lives for this. Liar! Pants on fire. You murdered my brother so that you'd have the opal to yourself. Of course not. Baby, I did. Hmm. You killed them. You killed them both in cold blood. No. No. Tiny Tim, no. Oh, whatever you do, don't hit the inflatable reindeer, please. Oh. Henry, the boys are at it again. You killed my brother! You dirty rat. Huh? Isn't one of them no kung fu? Not enough room. Oh, yeah. That's it. Out you pixies go through the door, out the window. Hey, she's got money on you. Don't lose. She's a stock model. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Oh, great. Finish him off with a bowling line. Oh, oh. His bad back. Yeah. Now, where are those raffle tickets? Leave me. Huh? Get me out of here. Or get the lunch and go for the wallet. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pick six. Uh, oh. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah. Thanks for a lovely dinner. Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish everyone did? Mm -hmm. Let's get out, Lord! Nice wood grain. Mm, really nice. Oh, the oh. Oh, Very stylish shot. Aw, oh, Joel, can I have a puppy like that? Um, Please. You know, he'd be perfect for ring toss. <laughs> Look at the beat down here. You folks gotta excuse me. I'm not used to this city. Hot child in the city, running wild, looking pretty. Hey, where are all the Nick Gilder jokes? Boy, let me go away. Suckers chained to a desk while I roam free. Go figure. You know, I miss my Hot Wheels set. Toyland. Toyland. I can't believe I'm still in Toyland. <laughs> Look at him go. Good thing he's sporting Teflon, huh? 
How about a tongue sandwich, Tokyo? You, know, you don't see that a lot in nature. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Frosted mini tanks, gang. Rosebud. <laughs> this tank was Rose called Rosebud. Did you know that? Is its most mm -hmm. powerful ruined it. Everything within reach is immediately destroyed. Hi, folks. How's the shower, lady? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. You know where your kids are? I ate them. I love them. <laughs> Property values plummet when a whole neighborhood suffers from freezer burn. <coughs> Ooh. A little nip in here. Yeah. Huh? Unusual weather we're having. Mm. It's a marshmallow world. It's pretty. <laughs> oh. Five thousand fuck out a treat. Show me something I haven't seen. You know, I saw a wire. That wrecks a oh, whole thing. You mean this is fake? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. How about a little tongue, Scarecrow? Well, let's see. That's called French combat, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, we're taking orders. Who wants a bear claw? Oh, I'm not in this scene. Wait a minute. Mao is a Toastmaster? A monster? Oh. Can destroy everything with its tongue. You try so saying that without laughing. Get within its range, weapons are useless. Well then, let's not say so your man. Let's make our next attack on it from some distance. Will that be safe enough? Possibly. We do have one sight. That's out of his range. Mm. Right here. Well, we have a missile corps station. The Suzuka Pass. Hey, that's Ireland. It'll be too far away. The monster's tongue cannot possibly reach it. It's only a mile long. Whoa. Epstein Park, Colorado. Meet the Stinger, Big Bertha, the Gremlin. He's dreaming of big, mutated, armor-covered rabbits. All right. Whoa, has that guy been near radiation? Come on, hot flashes. The men have completed preparation, sir. Peace, peace. <laughs> I'll always award you two. We are standing by for orders, sir. Right. Begin the attack. Morning. Oh, good morning. Hi, everybody. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. This is Paragon starting our broadcast day. Wait a minute. Something's rotten in Osaka now. He wakes up with the worst breath of the millennium. I wonder if they'll call off school today. It's the Wildcats. Hey, oh, uh huh? Hey, what's up, girl? What? A spy to check the color spectrum, Ray? Ooh. Ah, it's a Skittles commercial. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. From hell. Oh, I'm sure he could do that. How do he know? Oh. That went well. Mm. <laughs> Gamma is attracted by any form of heat energy. And I'm attracted Our to B. Arthur. Go figure. <laughs> so Gamma is flying toward it over Osaka. Say. <laughs> He's becoming a starburst fruit chew before my eyes. Oh. Camera's melting like a lemon drop high above the chimney tops. Ah, uh, sir, it's not an escalator. The missile oh. The attack by the Where's missile corps have proved unsuccessful against Baragon's rainbow. And here we end the 9 p.m. news bulletin. What, have they got radio Further in their developments kids' heads? Will be broadcast what? As they happen. In the meantime, some music by Yanni. You know, it's unsettling but beautiful. Mm -hmm. Quietly disturbing. What a dismal place to be held up with you, like. No, you can't play your accordion. Stuff here like a bunch of animals. Huh? Why are they making all this fuss about a tawny <laughs> little monster? Huh? Why? Why don't you shut up? You make me sick. Oh, not really. 
Oh, Reverend Moon's holding a prayer and share. They know its face. I'll be back. They know its mission. But there's one thing they don't know. This time, there are two. Terminator 2. Hasta la vista, baby. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Rated R. Starts Wednesday, July 3rd at a theater near you. feeling a little unpopular because of a wart, try America's number one wart remedy, Compound W. It hates warts more than you do. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. Comedy Central brings you three hours of Police Squad. Action so real you can smell it. Sergeant Takeaway and Booker. Sergeant Takeaway. Sergeant Booker. Anticipating the summer release of Naked Gun Two and a Half, Comedy Central presents the one-time only Police Squadathon. You owe me a hundred dollars, now cough it up. Every single episode of Police Squad ever produced somehow magically condensed into one three-hour marathon. Sorry to bother you at a time like this. We would have come earlier, but your husband wasn't dead then. Starring Leslie Nielsen as Lieutenant Frank Drebin. That name rings a bell. Comedy Central <laughs> Police Squadathon, June 22nd, 9 p.m. to midnight. Coffee? No, thank you. Tea? No. Eclair? Rum ball? Torque? Comedy Central Police Squadathon in color, hard as nails. It just might change the way you watch TV. Cover me that night. Camera is vulnerable to the cold. He has been frozen powerless by this new monster. Named Clarence Birdseye. But the second monster is unharmed. And now the authorities are without the means. They have already used him to remember the dead of Paragon. I thought it was another monster, but it's my Paragon. Oh, God, could he kiss? Carol. Hmm? Carol. What's wrong? Are you ill? I'm carrying Paragon's child. We've come too late. I just couldn't believe that your story was true. Now, I'm responsible for bringing this. No! Oh, don't Let's do go that. As soon as it's possible to get there. You know of a way to get rid of it? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I've got the answer here. Mm -hmm. Let's hurry to stop all this horror. Okay, I'm with you. It's a bridge over troubled models. <laughs> oh, and I can't even get this open. Oh. Hey, Louie, you still okay in there? Oh, no, no, no. Huh? You. Oh, oh dear. Come on. Oh, it's with oh, the look at thing. I'm sorry about the thing. thing. It's a, but it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that okay. lobe. Yeah, and it's Leopold, Help too. <laughs> uh, boing. We'll be able to find find you. Leopold. <laughs> you fool. It wasn't a jewel. What's that? It was a monster's egg. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Good. I tell you that the opal was the egg out of which the monster hatched. Huh? Uh, it's our fault. You and I brought this destruction here. 
We're going to kill that monster before it's too late. Don't give me that story. Uh, here's one. Two Chinamen walk into a bar. <laughs> I've just come from my brother's. He and his wife are both dead. Hmm. Their house burned. Someone saw you running out of their house just before the fire. You! Hey, I was in Austria during the whole so thing. Got it. Not my fault. You liar! That's a fire. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. Hit him with wick. <laughs> Not the Johnny Walker! Hey, uh, honey, you can jump here any time. Jump in, come on. Thank you. Fine. There we go. Ginsu 2000. Cuts through lead pipe and still disembowel. People are watching Manic. <laughs> you think they'd be able to use Kung Fu or something? Yeah. Where's Bruce Lee when you need him? Oh, sucker punch. Ow. Ow. Ah, you're lucky my chick's here, man. That's it. Don't try to understand them. Just ride and rope and brand them. Now, when I left the house this morning, I had a short rope, a long rope, and a medium sized rope. Would you now, just I don't tie him up. Sorry. Sorry. Did you put your finger there for a sec? Okay. Time on that? Time, please? <laughs> Oh, he's been shooting up. Huh? What in the oh, world? Hold on here. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. This is one weird scene. <laughs> uh, you got a little, uh, uh, forget it. You are one spooky chick. Do you mind if I don't call you again? Ugh. Oh, he's just her type, too. A positive, that is. <laughs> you know you're beautiful when you're bloody. I'm all right. Let's go. Hey. Uh, please help me. Septic? Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Wait. Uh, I, I apologize. Help me. Don't I'm me. trying to say I'm hey. sorry. Poor oh. guy. So dull. Hey, your hair got shorter. May I tell you? No. Something. No. If you please. No. Yes, go ahead. I sucked his blood, and I liked it. Baragon yeah. is a land animal. Once in the water, his cells melt. Purple blood flows out quickly. At least that is the legend our ancestors have passed down to us. Mm -hmm. His strength goes rapidly. Mm. But also, his tongue would become paralyzed, and therefore harmless. And it would be easy to approach him and destroy him then. Mm, like the wicked witch, we eh? We Baragon to the water, and then he'll drown himself. It's the answer. And how do we lure him? With this. Mm. Dog bars? Oh. Death trap. Say. We have preserved this huge diamond in our village for many generations. But what has the diamond got to do with Baragon? Now, uh, keep your shirt on. It's cubic zirconia. This will draw him on irresistibly. We can use it to lure him into the water. Does your village have many diamonds this size? Simmer Quiet. down, you gold digger. Gee. Just this one is left. Every thousand years. A monster such as this is born in my village. That's a long gestation Each period. time one is born, another of our diamonds must be sacrificed. Hmm. It is dropped <clears> into the lake to lure the monster to its death. If that's the case, I realize how precious this last diamond is. Are you sure that Baragon will respond as the legend has predicted? Nope. If you don't believe in it, you are doubting the gods. Well, guess I stepped on a few toes there, so... We haven't time to waste. It's the only idea that hasn't been tried. Oh, what about the Z-Plan? We'll have to work at once. Sorry. In which direction shall we guide him? Is there a large lake to sink him in? There's Biwa Lake. <laughs> I can't untie well, cut it with that knife. There. Geishas who love too much. An attempt is being made to run away from... Oh, the rope, not my wrist! Biwara oh. considers the safest place to deposit him. <sighs> Authorities hope that the 5,000 carat diamond, the largest That's in the it. world... Talk it over with Jack. Wow, what an incredible scheme! 
A 5,000 carat diamond to be sunk in Biwa Lake just to get the monster. What? You? Huh? Are you sure? Of course. A native girl brought it to Japan. Who told you? The radio announced it. Was she in Bride of Frankenstein? Oh, then. Mm. Those natives did have a jewel worth more than I'd ever dreamed of. A daddy needs his medicine. <sighs> Last call. All right. Mm. So I'll get it. What, a jewel bucket? Oh, right on me. In the final attempt to rid Japan of Baragon, Operation Diamond is put into effect. They offered him a, a cocktail. 5,000 carat diamond is used to trick the monster into abandoning his natural environment, land, for the waters of Lake Biwa. Scenic Lake Biwa. Yeah, right. I'm heading off to a lake. You think I was born yesterday? Oh, wait, I was. Traffic on the I-94 outbound is still bumper to bumper during the sundown slowdown. Disco ball would have been a little cheaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's Liz Taylor. No, he's smaller than Liz Taylor. Come on, be nice. <laughs> so fun. What's wrong? Keep what dangling and shaking it. I think he's going for it. My jerk cake. I, I gotta go walkies. Ooh. are thrilled about that. Then welcome to the club. Party! I'd rather pass a kidney stone. <laughs> oh, it's coming to me. Join host Will Schreiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's Funniest Comic. Any hecklers? The best of the U.S. Comedy Festival. Ah! Two drink minimum. Saturday at 6. Here at Comedy Central. new Glade Potpourri Pump. The freshness of potpourri now in a pump. Spray it, shake it, or pump it. No potpourri is like Glade. Why Nature Valley Granola Bars? It's about variety. But sometimes I like a change from candy bars, and these are a crunchy, nicely sweet snack. Mm. Variety can be a good thing sometimes. dry sports style formula stay cool soft and dry is this you washing your car missing all the fun or spending six dollars at the car wash when two days later it looks like this now there's a way to keep your car looking great all the time it's the amazing magic duster originally designed for car buffs to keep their show cars looking new it's specially treated fibers lift the dust off without a scratch and it's guaranteed for even the most delicate paint with this expensive investment to protect I'd rather use my magic duster than wash any day. It works so well, you'll want one for every car in your family. And they make great gifts, too. It's the best present my kids could have gotten me. It's better than washing. And a lot cheaper, too. Stop washing when you could be dusting. Call this number now to order your magic duster. Thousands have been sold for $29.95. But take advantage of this special TV offer and pay only $19.95. Call now and get this $5 carrying case absolutely free. 
That's a $35 value. So call this number now. They wear cameras on their heads. The league leading team comes from London, England. The World League of American Football. Hard hitting football action or meaningless crock. Johnny, exciting action behind us. This gentleman here, of course, in our way. Join Bolster, Bakai, and Heyman as they take on the newest entry to the world of international spring sports. Hi, Mom. On Sports Monster. Saturday at 6 30 here at Comedy Central. If this legend that the villagers believe in is really true, and I doubt it, then kindly tell me why he disregarded the diamond. He didn't like the cut, the you know, clarity, the color of character. I suspected the validity of her story from the first time that I heard her speak. It was too much of a fairy tale, and we should never have listened to her. Oh, geez, heap more shame on her. Besides, I doubt very much that there was a real diamond. If a gem that size existed anywhere in the world, there'd be reports of it. So it failed. But it isn't her fault. She was doing her best to give you a help. Listen. You're just trying to lay all the blame on us. Yeah, yeah and Scarecrow's brain. Just remember that it was your greed that brought all this misery upon us in the first place. You got me. Still, we try to help. Be quiet. And go to your room. I acted shamefully, I know. She's blameless. She gave you one possible plan. It's just been a foolish waste of precious time. Hmm. I know, but it isn't her fault. Die, die, die. I'm sorry. Forgive <laughs> Areas to the west have been most recently hit. I have to go now. To the little general's room, you know. In transporting victims to the three he hurts me so. Set up to accommodate the excessive number of casualties. There, there, dear. Let's get you a pint of fresh type A. Right. Residents are advised to take whatever action they can to treat the wounds mm -hmm. of relatives and friends on the spot instead of waiting. I'll get a room. Repeat that message. I hate to pull rank on you, son, but um, mm. in fact, we're very much obliged to you. You tried your best. She is a wild tigress. Excuse isn't she? me. This gentleman is Dr. Sato. Hello. Ah. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. You? This time you've got some real trouble. Huh? We certainly have. Uh-huh. Think you can help us? Have you got some suggestions to make? I'm glad I stopped by. On my way over yes. here. I believe that Barrigan was exposed to an infrared ray while still an egg. And I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower you grows. See? I was on the ship that brought the egg here to Japan. Please. An odorer. Uh, he was the man who found the egg, thinking it was a gem. Uh -huh. He was then receiving infrared ray treatment for athlete's foot. Hey, what's so absorbing? Now, it's quite Junior. possible that he forgot to turn the lamp off. It was probably directed towards the egg. We hey, can look back there. It's Kerry Grant in the, the Fabergé years. Ah. At very close range and over quite a substantial period of time. Castro's so the there, too. The must have speeded up considerably the growth of the monster. And that explains it. Now I understand what's happened. The legend says Baragon should take ten years to reach his present size. Ah, hmm. uh, indeed. Are you certain that it should take ten years to mature? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Baragon is really a freak with an abnormal body. I know the feeling. That's something we doctors can explain. If an expectant mother is exposed to radioactivity, uh -huh. a freak may be born. Like Rick James? So mm -hmm. then. Yep. Then that's why it showed no interest in the diamond. That's right. He's there's a no doubt about super freak. Ow, Listen, ow. Now that we know that it's a freak, isn't there some different way that we should attack it? It's yeah. Herbie. Expose the diamond to the infrared ray. Mm -hmm. Will that do us any good? No, we'll, we'll pad the film out the a little bit. The infrared ray speeded up the monster's oh, birth. Dargan must therefore respond favorably to it. Yeah, I'm buying this big time. Now then, perhaps the diamond, if radioactive, will be effective. Barrigan may respond to it, as you first hoped. Barrigan, that's me. Carter, is there any way to make him stay where he is now? Uh, we could staple him to the floor. There's one possibility. Mm -hmm. Our villagers have all been praying for rain. If heaven cares, it will send us rain. Why rain? You got a better idea? Water will weaken him. Our legend says that the monster cannot move while it rains. She kidding us. But why wait for the gods? Isn't it easy now to create rain? Heck, my aunt could do it. We'll produce it, all right. You direct. Man-made rain from helicopters. A flight of helicopters is sent to fly over Barragan, spraying onto him man-made rain, a mist-like liquid, which, it is hoped, will arrest the monster's movement. At Send the in the time, clouds. The rain should make Barragan unable to exhale his freezing vapor, thus rendering him harmless. Or at least drowsy and unable to operate heavy machinery. Hmm. How? Could 
be raining. <laughs> oh, Catch the drops on your tongue, it's fun. You know, uh, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Poppies, poppies will make him sleep. Well, let's head over to the Bozo Drum. <laughs> this machine is called a death ray projector and a ruby is put in to act upon the light molecule. Mm -hmm. Thus, the waves of light are broken down. Right now, oh, just get on with it. you can see the machine is in the experimental stage and can't be put to practical use. Mm -hmm. But now, possibly, we can employ the diamond instead of the ruby. Neat. Let's insert it. Together. And try its effectiveness. You're trying Probably. my effectiveness. We're anxious to try it out at once. Turn it on to Barrigan and see if it works. Okay. He's sleeping. Somebody put his hand in warm water. Darn poachers. Well, there goes our ride. Why, Baragon, you're crying. Fake. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, look at him. He's all over the road. Oh, no. Oh, and here comes a hapless family on a Sunday ride. Um, honey, there's something on the road ahead. What is this, the Universal no. Tour? Oh, begin. Go begin. Ooh. Right. Move now, forward. love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like her. Mm -hmm. Hmm? No! Company, my favorite snack. Got it? But you never lost it. Ah, be careful. And okay. the music goes round and round and comes out here. Whoa, look, he's leaking. No, he's just dieseling. Oh. Hey, preparation's ready, sir. Good. Start. Oh. Begin. We'll start. Get going. Engage. Ah, make it so. Now. Fire. Stop. Initiate. Go. Time to get it moving. Whatever happened again? You must have a really good agent. I know. I suppose so. Now. Huh. It's moving! It's moving! Hey! Good. Drive on. They're glowing guy again. Once he gets into the spotlight, we're expecting him to do a couple of jazzy show tunes. Spotlight dance. Paragon. I was singing for the people, they were crawling on me, they were, they were throwing Julia. She's got the flare nostril look I love so much. Mm. Oh, now watch. Hey. He'll have black wings around his eyes when he pulls the binoculars <laughs> down. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Everything. We got to lengthen the movie. So embarrassed. Rough. Rough. Let's get out of here! Wait! Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, it's your boy! Oh no, Let's he's go. doing Jolson! Turn up the light! Quickly! Okay. Hey! Get your car! Right! That'll do it again! Okay, you don't go too close. Be careful. It's going to be dangerous. No. Now, switch on for action. And now, I would like to tell a few things about your business. Hine, hine, hine. About the time that I met this man that was coming to me on Broadway, Hayden. Right. Forward now. Yes, sir. Porters came down. No jostle. Don't say it. Right. Well, Herbert, I 
Michael comes to me and he says that hang, hang, hang. Vehicle, you must progress now to the lake. Yay, yeah, we're all going to the lake. Yay, whoopee. Really a inflatable dog. I'm not going in the tunnel. Well, I'm sure not going to lose that diamond. Time to blow. No, don't go. You can't take such a risk. Let go of me and stay out of my oh, car. Please don't go. Come back here. Get away. No, don't go. Don't go. Uh, hey, Crow, any more brewskis in the cooler over there? Uh, no. Uh, how about a frozen daiquiri confection? Oh, sure. That sounds great. Boy, it sure is a nice day today, hmm? Yeah, like a warm summer night back home. Yeah. You know, back on Earth, we used to hang out at the beach all the time. Or else we'd uh, go to the drive-in, which was really fun. The drive-in? Oh, yeah. We'd all pile into the car and head out to the old Lucky Twin back in uh, Buffalo on Route 5. Oh, Joel, tell us about the movies again. Huh? Well, my little cinematic sidekicks. You know, in those days, we had real stars. We didn't need dialogue. We had faces. Yeah, kind of like this camera film, huh, Joel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> But this that's... film certainly had a lot of faces, I'll give you that for free, but these films never seem to have any big-name stars. Well, that's where you and I split the dog, my little red pal. Uh, this film is packed with celluloid heroes, and they never feel any pain. Huh. It was a magic time in Hollywood. Stars jumped at the chance to appear in a Gamera film. Wow. Here, I'll show you. Cambot, do it like I like it. See, check it out. There's Edward G. Robinson, fresh from his role in Soil and Green. No, no, no. Shut up and eat your Soil and Green thing. Soil and Green is made from people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Here's Elvis Costello making his screen debut. I don't know. It looks more like Marshall Crenshaw to me. Or Arnold Stang. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, here's Peter Ustinov. Hey, and look, Ustinov like him to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and here we have Lon Chaney Jr. Oh, uh, right, sure. Hey, so let me finish. Cute. Next, we have Steve Allen, Claude Akins, and Harrison Ford. Odd job and William Defoe. Robert Blake and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, are you okay? Hey, shut up. Hank Williams Jr., Jerry Lewis, and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, when you went to the drive-in, did you spend a lot of time in the trunk? Did I mention Jerry to you, Botch? You guys probably don't know him from hardly working or cracking up. But, oh, lady, mister, he may need a home and what in the hay? Oh, <laughs> please help me. Oh, Pam, uh, lady, folks, pretty we'll be lady. right back. Oh, Sorry gee. you had to see this. Oh, gee. <laughs> Watch your fellow citizens stand up for what they believe in. I just spent about a week with family, and I am absolutely thrilled and delighted to be here in front of strangers. It's Blog Stand Up, 24 hours of stand-up comedy, the kind our forefathers fought and died for. If I was going to have a kid, I'd want it quick and neat. I'd have Heimlich. Feel free to watch one stand-up after another on Blow Up Stand Up, a 24-hour stand-up comedy marathon, Thursday, July 4th, beginning at 6 a.m., only at Comedy Central. Wherever women need protecting... Lives need defending. And criminals need busting. Talk, you lowlife scum. If that's your attitude, forget it. Lieutenant Frank Drebin will be somewhere else. The water's over there, Frank. Leslie Nielsen. The Naked Gun, two and a half. The Smell of Fear. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, June 28th at theaters everywhere. You gotta lose it for yourself. You gotta lose it for your hell. And when you take it all, you feel so great. Slim fast helps you lose the weight. It's the way of life. Looking great now. The slim fast way of life. You're losing weight and feeling great. The slim fast way of life. Rubbermaid waste cans are built to withstand an accidental and occasional, and still bounce back for more. Perfect! Don't you wish everything was made like Rubbermaid? Introducing the most advanced Tegrin ever. Advanced formula Tegrin Dandruff Shampoo. Now with 40% more itch-fighting, flake-fighting medication than ever before. Try the most advanced Tegrin ever. Aren't you just itching to try it? 
If you can hammer a nail, you can build a great deck like this one. If you can wire a lamp, you can install track lighting like this. I'm Bob Vila. To do great projects like these, all you need is the Home Repair and Improvement series from Time Life Books. Every volume has all the clear-cut instructions you need to take on home improvement jobs with confidence. You'll discover how simple it really is to add value to your home and save money by doing it yourself. From adding built-in shelving in a closet to installing new electrical outlets. Order your first book, Kitchens and Bathrooms. Examine it free for 15 days. Keep it for the special introductory price of just $1.99. Other volumes like basic wiring and plumbing will follow. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. As a bonus, you'll also get this Stanley tape measure free with your first purchase. So if you can handle just a few basic tools, you can create a home you'll be proud of with the Home Repair and Improvement Series from Time Life Books. Ooh, I think I got a sunburn. Oh, there's a lot of stars in this movie. Yeah. Neat. Careful, Robin. Both hands on the bat rope at all times. Figures. Hasn't your grief caused enough grief already? Why don't you get out of here? Oh, boy. You know, guys, I'm starting to doubt their friendship. <laughs> Crying out loud. Humans, who can understand them? Go figure. What's going on? Hey, Roger! Don't check! Doctor! Doctor! Give me the news! I have a right to get at that diamond. No, you haven't! The Lamada. The Forbidden Dance? Yeah. Well, I'll shoot. I want to dance. Ah, wait, wait. I don't have my skis up. Ah, ah, ah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's giving him the raspberries. <laughs> Help me. I've been French to death. That a man witch. <laughs> Just something to hold him over until he gets to Osaka. Now you can't go back in the water for another hour. Remember that. Why are they so sad? That's the guy that killed his brother. Well, there's something about watching a man get tongued to death. Like... Well, that's the way I want to go. Woo! Well, that's it. We're licked. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what you get. Mom, Mom, watch me dive. Throw me a stick. I'll catch it. The plan has failed. Now we're going to swallow the massive diamond. Our only hope is that he'll pass it. Oh, no. The only method that we have left to get rid of the monster has now been oh, lost. Okay. Get the helicopters. Sir. Doesn't produce range, so Paragon can't move. There is no other way. Sir. I love this theater. I do. Meanwhile, at a storage unit outside of Osaka... Lumbo tryout? It's useless looking around here. We won't find a thing. Yeah, the audience has left, Ever too. Ever since I was a child, I've been told of the Blame disastrous me? rainbow that the monster can make. But no one in the Well, what's she going on about? Because one is born only after each thousand years. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. I was too young the last time. No matter how terrifying it was. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. Did you say but something? No one will ever be able to get rid of it now. It's our punishment for wanting so much wealth. So what's going to happen to Donald Trump? Yes, yes, she's buying it. If only I could work up a tear. Oh, he's going for it. Wait a minute. Huh? Napkin? That gives me an idea. Honey, you're brilliant. Hmm. Huh? Now, what are these? Snap -tools. They look like rearview mirrors. They're all that's left of the Jeep. Hmm. Are these quite well, rhetorical? Why weren't they destroyed along with everything uh -huh. else? They appear to be impervious. Hmm. See what that means? There's weakness in the rainbow. And there's more of us. Oh. oh. Now, Doctor. 
Isn't the rainbow similar to a death ray projector? Well, yes. it's kind of a reach, but maybe. I believe that's right. That seems logical. Sure. When the rainbow hit the mirror, it seems to have been reflected in just the way light is. It wasn't hard, because the energy didn't penetrate it. Ah, I see. Yes. Reflected. Kill him. The principle itself's really a simple enough one. Hmm. You may have hit on something important. But will this help us? Can we use it against Barragan? No, but it's something to do. Yes, sir. I'm an amateur in these matters, but I have an idea. <laughs> hmm? These flames can reach an extremely intense heat. They can even melt steel. And yet, the stove itself is quite unaffected by all this heat. Now why? Well, ah, don't... The flames are ejected outwards away from it. But if they're turned in onto the burner itself, what would happen then? There's no Wait, we're taking a shop set. course all of a sudden. Oh, no. make a third house for you, sir. So you see, <laughs> I the burner can be penetrated by its own flame mm -hmm. when exposed to it. Mm -hmm. In the same way, Barragon can be destroyed. Uh, come again? Do we need to know this for the test? What do you think, sir? You're toasted, mm -hmm. aren't you? That's quite an idea. But surely it's impossible to apply it here, on oh, Barragon. Why can't you ever support can me? Possible. These mirrors. We'll make a mirror large enough and reflect his rainbow onto him. So in theory... Barragan will be made to die by his own rainbow. Yeah, if that makes it work for you, of course. Mm. Mm. How very fitting. Cool. Ironic. I love All it. All right. Please get ready to carry it out. Get your costumes on. So the microwave antenna at the summit of Mount Kajika is turned into a mirror in readiness for Operation Rearview Mirror. Giant shredded wheat is deployed. Hundreds of workmen are employed treating everything that holds the mirrors in place with a mercury preparation. Tanks of Windex are commissioned by the government. Kids are told by the thousands not to smudge the mirrors. At the same time, action is being taken to keep Barragan in one spot. George Winston music is played for him. Preparations for Operation Rearview Mirror have been completed. The ground force is making use of all its most advanced weapons in the attack against Barragan. It is hoped that in this way, Barragan will be angered. And maybe a little put out. He will respond by sending out his most powerful weapon, the rainbow. A forgiveness. Back by 300 degrees. We Back the by degrees. 300 degrees. Waja. Eight degrees, five seconds. Down, twenty-eight degrees, five seconds. Heck of a tan on that thing. Stop. Correct range. Correcting range, sir. Uh, Thirty-five, sir. Right. We're ready now. Everything's in place to begin. Doctor, won't it be better to wait till night so we can see the rainbow? I agree. We'll wait. You don't know one of my organizations ever talked to me like that. I like it. So. Oh, Grand Canyon Suite. There's no one up there. No workmen or others. Oh, no. Everything at the antenna is done by remote control. I like your oh, shirt. That's kind of drapey. Ah! Oh. What now? I was posing for a golf shirt for crying out loud. What was that about repositioning the tanks? Too late. Mm. You can't run from the rainbow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Frosted Lucky Charms. Whoa. Ah, that's a cheap shot. Ooh, can you imagine how that must smell? Mm. Ah, you know what really burns my butt? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Oh, 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 hot, oh, hot, oh, water, water, oh. Ah. Ooh. Barragon's dead. And Garson's got him. I think so. <laughs> He's dead. You've killed him. I'm faking. Oh, this is going to be just like Fatal Attraction, I know it. Oh, what is David Lynch directing now? Separating fistulas made from delicious Smucker's gravy chicken. Oh, 
We just gave him a rush. Oh, God. We failed. The rays weren't powerful enough for it. We've got to try again. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you've listen, got to drag him. We must arouse him. To say hey, one more I listened to the diamond thing, but I am not going to arouse him. Baragon won't send out another rainbow. But why not? Why not, Karen? I've grown up in the jungle. Mm -hmm. And I've lived amongst the wild animals. So? So I know about their ways. Oh. When an animal has once been hurt by its own mistake, it will never make the same mistake again. Not my fault. What she says is right. It will never send another rainbow. Everything's in the toilet. Operation Rearview Mirror is at an end. So let's go eat. Who's hungry? You buying? Oh, no. There's nothing we can do. That's, That's the spirit. spirit. Nothing. <laughs> ah, shut up, you pathetic bastard. Get up. Quit your crying. Nothing but a coward. Give, give me something to slap him with. But now, the buildings frozen by Barogan have begun to thaw. The ice melts away from Osaka Castle. Gamera has regained consciousness. And his pilot has relit. Uh, hey, are those Lee press on there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ernie Kovacs, the mad king of TV comedy, is only two days away. Count on it. Ernie Kovacs week, June 24th through June 28th. Two shows daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Here at Comedy Central. Uh, excuse me. In a blind test, women compared new advanced formula agree shampoo to an expensive salon brand. Red can amino part. And guess which one they like better. You guessed. There's a price on your head. How much? 100 gold pieces. Is that all? He was a thief, but she couldn't help loving him. He was sworn to protect her. Robin! But he never expected to love her. Kevin Costner is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. Pour on the cheddar and make it taste better. Potato? Dull. With cheddar? Delicious. Anybody want chips? No. Sorry. Well, how about some cheddar cheese nachos? Yeah. Right. Get your vegetables. Oh, no. With cheese? Oh, great. The great taste of cheddar makes everything taste better. Hey, listen to this. In a blind test, women like new advanced formula agree conditioner as much as a salon brand, Nexus Humectris. So if one cost less, would you switch? I guess so. Great legs. Thank you. How do you get them? I used to do aerobics till I dropped. Then I found Thigh Master. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. I thought I'd never fit into these jeans again. Thank you, Thigh Master. I recommend it and use it. The secret to shapely thighs is exercising these muscles with just the right resistance. This balanced resistance coil is designed to give you results quickly and comfortably. Want to tone your upper chest and arms? Thigh Master will give you excellent results. Thigh Master, we may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. To order your Thigh Master, call 1 800 726 6000. Have your credit card ready or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 for shipping and handling to this address. And if you're not fully satisfied, return it in 30 days for your money back. Plus, if you call right now, we'll also send you Suzanne's Slender for Life plan absolutely free. Thigh Master is not available in stores, so act right now. Finally, a fight. <laughs> I've got a little death bite on the neck. <laughs> Hey, bite this. You mean like this? <laughs> I am wired. He is too. Hey, 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 you kids, no splashing. Come on. Hey, this water got warm all of a sudden. Don't 
look at the light, Marion. Look away. If, if you think of them as two guys in rubber suits, it's real sad. Yeah. Uh, rip my tummy, rip my tummy. <laughs> and out from the lizard came a bubbling crew. Bile, that is. Texas Tang. No, no, I don't want to get my hair wet. Ooh. Oh, look. Huh? He's in the water. Mm. I'm here, Steve. It just may succeed. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. He's drowning in his own gravy. Ooh. Hey, that fluoride treatment shows he's really needing to floss. Yeah. By this time, my lungs were aching for air. That is the last time you can ever do that. Don't hit or yell. Hurts, huh? <laughs> we died together, my friend. <laughs> Come on, now fight! You've never given up on anything in your life? Now fight! Hey, it's the, the night the lights went out on Paragon. Oh, no, she said he wouldn't do another rainbow. Yeah. Hey, it's stopping now. Paragon's finished. He's completely defeated. Then why do I feel so empty? Oh, give her a kiss, you big lug. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> a little sugar on the job. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Let's go home. Well, shouldn't they have killed Gamera now that they got him right there? Good idea. I don't know. Call me prudent. You know, after the thrill is gone, we're left with the cold reality that the chase was all we ever had. My great expedition was a disaster. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh-huh. All that way, just to bring back anguish. Mm. But you did your best to help him, you found out. Then you'll have me? It was you who gave unselfish help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, it was me. I've learned we should never let greed direct our actions. Yeah, but let's pick up my ring first. Karen. Huh? I'll take you home, back to your peaceful village. I feel so absolutely alone right now. Solipsism is its own I reward. My brother's dead. Mm -hmm. Gosh, your hand is clammy. I could never love you. Don't make me laugh. You're not alone. Oh. Hey, there's like eight hands down there. Hey, hey get your hands out of there. They're squeezing too hard for a grip. And so we wave goodbye to our friends. Back to the ocean, the source of all credits. Gamera will be back in support your local sheriff. Nobody knows oh, why. Sandy Frank, I don't think I've seen his name before. Good mm -hmm. night, everyone. Enjoy the buffet. We should get out of here. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna stick around. I want to see how this stay? turns out. Okay. No, no, we should go. It's just water. You could stay just a little bit longer, okay? Mucho agua. Crow, if you stay in too long, you'll get wrinkly, dear. Gee, Joel, that wasn't much of a Gamera movie. Yeah, I mean, Gamera was hardly in the movie at all, yet he gets top billing. Why is that, hmm? Well, you see, uh, in this film, Gamera, Gamera wanted to spend a lot more time behind the camera. Oh. See, yeah, and that's how it all worked out. You see, in Hollywood, Gamera is considered a triple threat, a performer, director, and monster. Oh, kind of like Barbara Streisand. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, you'll read about the whole story of Gamera versus Varagon in this new book, You'll never eat this town for lunch again. See, it's all in there, yeah. That's really interesting. You know, when it comes to behind-the-scenes stories about monster movies, I'd like to 
read more about it. <laughs> exactly, Tom. Reading opens up a wonderful world of whimsy and enchantment, grades three to five. Wow, I want to read that one. Hey, Hollywood Baragon, the seamy side of monster movies. Oh, that's really neat. Now, the next one looks good, too. The best places to eat Japanese. <laughs> Ooh, how, how about that? How to destroy a city without really trying. Yeah, next one, the oldest living Japanese mutant tells all. Move your hand. And this one's great for kids. The fabulous Where's Baragon books, oh, too. Oh, it's delightful, too. You know, there's a lot of great... Uh, also books, books on, on tape, tape about oh, monsters, about yeah. About <laughs> this one's The Velveteen Turtle, read by Meryl Streep. Let's listen to that one, Kamba. And so, the Velveteen Turtle said to the little toy soldier, You're not like the other toys, are you? You're different. That is why I am going to kill you. Why? Because you are going to die. Yeah, and also, ah, yeah, yeah, cut that one up. And then there's this, Sharp Tongue, a memoir, is read by Baragon. Let's hear that one, Kamba. <laughs> Hey, what are these books, Joel? Less Than Zero, I Am Not Spock, Tech on. Wars by William Shatner, oh, these an are actor, publishes a novel tonight on Emergency. These are just one, one. mine over there. Why don't we uh, read a letter, guys? Oh, why huh? not? Hey, okay, okay this one looks pretty neat. Uh, let's put that on still store there. Anyway, this is from Joel Carnes of Naperville, Illinois. Joel uh, writes, Dear Joel and gang on MST, I really like your show. My favorite people are Crow, Tom Servo, Gypsy Cambot, and you. Well, that's just about all of us, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't like your bosses too much. Oh, we don't either. Frank is kind of a crybaby, and Dr. Forrester yells at Frank too much. I'm 12 years old and watch your show all the time. I love the Invention Exchange. You all make terrific inventions. Hope to see more of your show. Let's put that up on the screen. Tell them where they can write, Tom. They can write to the Mystery Science Theater Information Club, Post Office at the Fifth Edge, and the Fifth Hopkins, and the Sunday Sunday. Let's do it today. What do you think, sirs? Mm -hmm. One of you should mention books, Booby. I asked Frank to pick me up a book to read at the beach this weekend. Uh, what did you get, Frank? Oh, you're going to love it. This is great. It's The Stand by Stephen King. This is the new uncut version, which contains all the passages that were cut from the restored version. It's really great. You're going to really oh, enjoy it. Frank. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. <laughs> Watching Comedy Central. 